What's up guys? Today I wanted to show you a program I forgot I even had which is uh, called VST Host. It hosts a bunch of virtual instruments and plugins such as uh, if you click on file you gotta click rescan plugins it'll scan for all the plugins of virtual instruments and amps and stuff like that then you come down to plugins over here and you can see Sonic Projects OPX Pro 2 fantastic synthesizer program for uh, my M Audio Keyrig 49 they got a bunch of patches for like Van Halen, Styx, ES, Pink Floyd uh, Rick James, Prince, Toto, uh, Rush really cool this is a bass module it's a virtual bass guitar so so it's not that great dictive drums really cool amplitude 3 which uh, gives you Jimi Hendrix slash and then there's a bunch of uh, presets people made they give you a ACDC Zach Wild uh, a whole like Brian May there's, there's a ton of them in there that's already preset for you so you plug your guitar in and you could change amps and cabs and stuff like that mics and then real LPC which is a virtual Les Paul guitar not real fond of it REFX layer 2 gives you Metallica amps sound uh, Ramstein stuff like that so the way this works is let's click on Sonic Projects click on it it's gonna load up and there it is it's these little lines if you want to unchain it you right click click unchain and then the way you you can stack these so you drag that line to there and then you click on the little dial button that brings up the program and then over here if you click on the little down arrow you have a list of your uh, plugins for this program so down here we have uh, Pink Floyd signs click on that nice no latency or anything now over here it says bank you click load and I downloaded this a long time ago and if you come over here to pro to rich source dot fxb and you click on that and then click open it's gonna load all the famous artists up so you got your like Van Halen here which if right off the album and then uh, the 1984 sweep real cool stuff and if you scroll down you have some Rush subdivisions album see what else is in here and you got some more Floyd here and Toto you got Africa Pink Floyd right there too one of my turns actually and then uh, you have Axel at dun 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 you got Prince here kinda sounds like church music 
You got some Genesis. And then they have some Who, which is pretty cool. Bob O'Reilly, it doesn't sound right on, but... And you got some Rush Tom Sawyer. So it's really cool. Um, take a look at Addictive Drums. Now if you wanted to, well, let's take a look at Addictive Drums first. Same deal. It'll load up, click on it, and then uh, you can change your drum kits in here if you want. There's a whole bunch of stuff, but you can... really cool and uh, you can pair these things together too so if you want it to say add um, the program we were just using you would click that and now when you hit your keyboard it would be you can add uh, say your amplitude so now we're connected over here with that and we'll go to the presets you got you know like David Gilmore, Black Sabbath, Brian May, ACDC John Mayer, Mark Knopfler from uh, Dire Straits, Metallica you got the Colt, White Stripes, Tom Schultz from Boston. You got some Van Halen here. So let's load some Van Halen up. Minimize that. And I don't have my guitar plugged in, so I'm just going to use the virtual uh, Les Paul. And you could see here it's not going into the amp, so you'd have to right click, unchain it, and then you're going to run that over to amplitude and you know bring that up here you can adjust where you're gonna pick on your strings and you can also mute these things out so you don't have sound just click on uh, the speaker so you can kind of tune it in and actually I have to unchain this and what will happen is you gotta run this down to here this into here so it's in out and then out to in so And with like amplitude here, you can wrong one. You can see you got your uh, stomp boxes here. So you got adjustments. You got your amps. You got your cabs. You got your rack system. Some really cool stuff. And uh, you can turn it on and off just by clicking that.
so that's about the gist of it. Uh, the other one that I'll show you right before we go is uh, Mini Monster. It it's a really cool program. Let me close some of these things out here. Now this one's really cool too because you could use this stuff with a talk box. And again, you got like a ton of presets here. I'm I mean there's a shitload of them here that you can like this is from the 70s. And if you look down over here, it's to change the pitch and then your modulation also. So it's basically like a MOG, one of those old MOGs. You can do everything here. It's kind of like Sonic Projects, but it's uh, called Mini Monster.